Hey fam, Mariano Gomez, the Dynamics GP Blogster here. Today I want to talk about something that is very key to working with Power Apps and Flow, and that's APIs. I have a really cool applications that, that I'm going to put together using these two uh, Power Platform uh, Foundation products. And I'll show you something really cool with the NASA APOD, the Astronomy uh, Picture of the Day API. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put together a cool little power app that every day when you wake up, it will give you the new, um, the new picture of the day. And let's see how we do that. Okay. So I have actually started with a, uh, canvas app. This is a phone app or an app written for a mobile device. And what I have done initially here is actually created a, a hidden form with my API key that I actually can obtain from the NASA API. So if you, if you go to api.nasa.gov and click on the API home, you have the ability to set up a, um, an API key. All you gotta do is actually enter your first name, last name, email, and that will basically send you um, a good um, API key that you can use with all the applications that you build on the NASA Open API platform. All right, so I already did that, so we're not going to go through that process, but know, know that by going to uh, this website, you can definitely get information on API keys and how to generate one. What I'm interested though here is to browse the API keys and the one that we're going to be working with is the astronomy picture of the day. I love astronomy. It's one of those things that has always fascinated me. And you know, this particular API is very simple to work with. There's an HTTP request of the get type, and this is basically the URL endpoint that we will be calling to get the picture of the day. Here's an example query. So you can actually take this even and uh, copy it, open a new tab and run a demo key that will basically give you a JSON payload containing the um, URL of the picture, both in standard definition and high definition. And it will give you an explanation of what that picture is, the date, etc. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's get started here and see if we can catch our bearings. As I said, I already started a, an application called NASA Pod. I'm gonna do a couple of elements of decoration here, nothing major. So I'm gonna start with just putting a uh, title to this. And that title basically all it's gonna say is NASA Astronomy Picture of the Day. All right, cool. Uh, we got that set. We're just gonna center this and we're gonna put um, some little flair to it. So let's add a uh, background to it. And let's just go over here and make it, I don't know, or let's say orange. And we're gonna make the text bold. So I'm just gonna uh, change the text to white. I'm also gonna make it bold, as I said. That we can do here under this property, font weight. We're gonna change that to font weight dot bold. There we go. So um, that's basically how we're gonna get our application started. So under with the understanding that this is gonna just pull a uh, picture, the first thing we're gonna wanna do here is insert an image. Okay, there we go. That's our image. And our image is gonna be stretched across the across the screen like this. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is add a uh, label that's gonna allow me to capture a description of that picture. So here we go. This is the label, expand it a little bit, bring it down here. And a uh, couple of things we're gonna do is we're gonna change this font to 13 and we're gonna also make the vertical alignment. So vertical align, we're gonna align that to top or select it from here and we're good to go. So what this is going to do is it's going to give us the picture and the text for the call. All right. The one thing I want to do now is and I'm going to jump over to Microsoft Flow for a second here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new flow. That's going to be an instant flow. And we're going to call that um, uh, NASA APOD just to be consistent with the name of the actual application. So that's going to be Power Apps. Uh, power apps uh, trigger. We're going to use a power apps trigger. And the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to use or add a variable. We're going to initialize a variable here. So we're just going to go and select variables from the list. And what I want to do is I want to pass in 
the actual API key, which I'm gonna read from Power Up. So let's just call this API key. And we're gonna uh, rename this to be API key as well. Cool, this is gonna be a string. And you're gonna ask yourself, well, why are you doing this? And why don't you just pass in the API key directly or embed the API key directly in the flow? Well, if I'm delivering a solution to, to a customer, what I wanna have is the ability to tie those two together without having one thing that can be changed and uh, leveraged for something else. I, I want those two applications to be tightly integrated. I guess it's a best practice that I use it doesn't necessarily be, have to be something that you use, but know that it facilitates the whole process of uh, delivering a solution that is tightly, tightly coupled. So um, that's just my take on it. Uh, you can debate that. Feel free to uh, post your comments down in this, in this video and let me know what you think. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an HTTP action. And as you probably presume, this HTTP action is gonna then, according to the API, that's a get. So we're just going to replicate some of that here. The same method that we're going to use here. Uh, we can pull the URI directly out of the uh, site, but I already have a predefined uh, notepad ready to paste URI right here that I'm going to just paste in here. And note that one of the parameters that we pass in is the API key. So I'm just going to pass that in from the flow itself. And remember that this API key, I'm actually passing it in as a parameter to flow as a whole. So let's see how this works so far. We can save this. And there's a couple things here that might happen if we click on test. I'll say I'll perform the trigger manually. And if one thing to note here is I'm being asked for the API key value. And NASA allows me to use an API key called demo key. And demo key should be good enough to uh, run this flow to return, return the value. So right here, I can see that uh, that API key variable was loaded with demo key and the HTTP itself was passing the demo key and I get back this payload in result. Okay, cool. So um, I, I can copy this now, control C and go back here to edit. And one thing I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna um, parse this um, payload with the parse JSON fun, um, action. So I'm just gonna select this parse JSON and the content is going to be the body, which is returned from the HTTP um, request that we just did. So I'm going to use this sample payload that I got back to basically get back the schema that we need for this. So once this is done, I can add a new step. And this new step is going to be uh, respond to Power Apps. So I'm just going to go back to Power Apps or select Power Apps from here. And there is an order to respond to Power Apps or Flow, which I'm gonna choose. And what I wanna pass back is I wanna pass back the description of the picture. So let's just add here a uh, description. And this might be from this particular one, the explanation. So um, you can call it description or we can rename it to explanation. That's probably uh, to keep in very consistent with um, with the return payload and then the next thing I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add uh, the URL of the picture so uh, here is called HD URL so I'm just gonna use that same term and I'm gonna map it now note that you can map uh, or add other fields that you will want to pass in maybe you want to pass in the title of the picture maybe you want to actually pass in the service version the media type uh, note that those fields are available to the, to you. So here's what I'm going to do next then is I'm going to just go ahead and um, one, why not? I'm going to pass in the title. So uh, not to be confused with anything else, I'm going to call this uh, title. And uh, we're going to select the title here. Boom. Done. So how quick we were able to implement this. We have the ability now to just basically pass all this information back to Power Apps. So I'm just gonna go hit here and click on save just to um, complete my thought process here. So back in my application, note that I probably didn't leave any space for the title of the picture. So I'm just gonna go back and uh, minimize this a little bit. And I'm gonna add a text label and that's gonna be my picture title. 
So I'm just gonna, um, you know, leave this out here. Uh, what you probably want to do is you want to bring this over to 17 uh, pixels uh, on the font size just to not uh, disrupt this whole thing. You want to also uh, label or rename your your variables here. So I'm going to call this title label. That way I know what I'm dealing with when I'm looking at my, at my uh, picture. Uh, I'm just going to rename this to image of the day okay image of the day and then this guy here is gonna be my um, description okay all right so a couple things is when this what I want to do then is when this um, screen uh, loads so on visible I want to call my um, my flow so um i haven't tried this before so i don't know if this is gonna work but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to actions and i'm gonna uh, go to flows and i'm gonna add the nasa apod um action that is here good so what i'm gonna do then is hopefully this will run in the invisible as you can see it's doing that so i'm just gonna pass in the api key that text and remember that that's stored on my um, on my actual screen on my hidden screen but this is going to return two variables or three variables so what I want to do is I want to find a place to store this so we're going to use a memory con a, a global context variable and we're going to call this um, my uh, picture of the day or my apod we can also call it that way uh, comma and that's gonna be the actual um, return value good so this is all perfect um, we could then basically pass this off to uh, the different text variables so as you can see I had this called NASA um, or oh, my actually my apod that title here we go oops let's go select the right one title all right then this is gonna be the actual picture so and we're gonna replace the image for uh, my apod that um, uh, HD URL so that's where it's gonna pull the picture from and uh, this particular one the text itself the text property is gonna reflect the explanation so uh, we're gonna call this my apod that explanation good so with that said we should have our our, our um, application running so I'm just gonna save this we're gonna the title is already set um, you know it's probably appropriate to put a star here why not um, the background I think I'm gonna leave the same one I'm just gonna save this now and just click um, over here on the settings that's done so we're gonna save and um, we're gonna call this NASA iPod so I'll save this and uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna publish it right so we can um, it's already published by default we can share with other people if we want if we find it to be a cool application but that's that's so far as far as I'm gonna go so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna close this app and uh, I'm gonna go back to power apps here and I'm just gonna run my app so hopefully this will bring us what we want we can see that um, it brings the curiosity rover fine play and it gives me um, the description now on the other side I can see that um, my flow if I go back to NASA iPod hit OK here um, run successfully so I can see that that flow was actually uh, called successfully uh, particularly I want to look at the um, at the uh, body that was returned so I can see all the information here um, I can see that the JSON was parsed out and I can see finally 
that that output was consumed by my respond to power apps uh, task which then uh, passed in the explanation uh, or actually returned the explanation the hd url and the title uh, fields that we ask it to return so that basically is a fun way to start playing with apis um, especially uh, public apis nasa has very good one there's um, a, a slew of government entities, by the way, that do offer free APIs that you can use to consume data, play with a little bit, understand how HTTP requests work, and um, and make your way through the uh, you know building cohesive applications that leverage uh, those APIs. So I hope you find this interesting, and uh, thank you for your time. See you soon.